Clara's got secrets and a troubling past, but she can always count on her writer father and her best friend Shakti. Then she meets Christian and things go superb, until they don't. Now she's a fresh face in a new place, but her past has remained static. Can running away assist Clara with her dangerous dilemma? Hey, I'm Christian, and I'm not obsessive. Hey, I'm Clara. Clara and Christian may have just met, but she thinks it may be love at first sight. Their newfound relationship is absolutely perfect in every aspect. Clara loves everything about Christian, from his loving personality and every detail about his semblance. Although everything seems right, Clara still worries about displeasing Christian, because she is desperate for his love. Will Clara's naivety about their perfect relationship set itself up for doom? I love, I just want to be obsessed with you. What seemed to be a blossoming relationship quickly turned into an incarcerating cage for Clara, trapping her in a world of false admiration. Sweetness and cajoling turns to enraged jealousy as Christian begins to take his claim on Clara. She can't even go places by herself without questions arising from Christian's insecure mind. Christian turns a trip into the library, into a secret meeting, and a business card in Clara's room into a case of infidelity. Clara is left questioning Christian's feelings and her own. Will Christian's clingy man or drive Claire away. You don't go! You don't leave me! Run! Clara takes much needed steps in order to rid her life of Christian, discussing with her dad about what needs to be done and how all contact must be avoided. Soon after, Clara's father enters a state of gloomy solitude. And a talk with Annabelle Aurora doesn't help the situation when she divulges a detail about her father she never knew. However, her mood is soon mollified when she is with Finn. She learns more about Finn's family and that she is no longer safe when Christian calls her yet again. Clara begins to fear for life as each fearful moment passes. No, he can't find out about us. My precious! While Clara and her father continue their lives at Bishop Rock, their situation takes an unexpected turn. The truth is brought to light, and Claire tries to figure out how to pick up the, pe the evanescent pieces of the sense of security she had built. As the story continues, the suspense is brought to a new level. Will Clara be able to survive this burgeoning storm? What will the end of the summer bring for Claire and her dad? No, Christian, no! He's after me! Oh, by Deb Coletti is an intriguing 313-page novel. Albeit it is considered realistic fiction, the contributing components cause a suspenseful story. If you're looking for a story with romance, action, and an important lesson, then a trial run of stay would be a fine idea. Those looking for more depth and complexity may find stay slightly quixotic. However, it is a nice story with a little thrill.